Today in this lecture, we are going to discuss the baroreceptor arterial pressure control system or the baroreceptor reflexes. In this lecture, we are only going to discuss the physiologic anatomy of the baroreceptor arterial pressure control system. And then in the coming lectures, we will discuss the functions of the baroreceptor control system. Basically, broadly, we are discussing the nervous system regulation, nervous regulation of the circulation or the involvement of nervous system in the control of or the regulation of the circulation. Now, baroreceptor arterial pressure is one of the most important system which plays an important role in controlling the arterial pressure. In last few lectures, we have discussed different methods how the nervous system basically rapidly increase the arterial pressure when there is a stress and we discussed different, uh, uh, different functions of the uh, in, in, uh, autonomic nervous system like the sympathetic and parasympathetic system that how they help the body to overcome the stress and increase the blood flow to the tissues and how they decrease the blood flow to the tissues in different circumstances. Now, in this lecture, we are specifically going to discuss the baroreceptors. What are baroreceptors basically? Baroreceptors are stretch receptors. They are also known as uh, pressoreceptors. Pressoreceptors. And these baroreceptors are basically stretch receptors. These baroreceptors are stretch receptors that are present in different arteries. Almost each and every artery in the thorax of the human body contains baroreceptors, but they are more prominent in the aortic arch, the arch of the aorta. The arch of the aorta basically it directly takes the blood from the left ventricle, and then these baroreceptors are common. Uh, most commonly present at the bifurcation of the carotid arteries. Basically, blood comes to the left uh, atrium, it comes uh, uh, right atrium, it goes into the right ventricle, then it goes into the lungs, and from the lungs, the oxygenated blood comes to the left atrium, then the left ventricle, and from the left ventricle, the blood basically goes into the aortic arch. So here in the aortic arch, there are some stretch receptors, stretch receptors, because they are uh, very much sensitive to the stretch. So because uh, they are very much uh, sensitive to uh, stretch, sorry, they are very much uh, sensitive to stretch of the blood vessels. That's, that's why they are known as the uh, stretch receptors and they are specifically pre uh, common at the aortic arch and the uh, bifurcation of the carotid arteries. The aortic arch basically comes from the left ventricle and then from the aortic arch, two common carotid arteries arise. Then the common carotid arteries, they basically divide into internal carotid artery and the external carotid artery. And at the, the point at which these, the common carotid arteries bifurcate into internal and external carotid arteries. At that point, there are a lot of baroreceptors and that point is basically known as the carotid sinus. There is another term known as carotid body. Carotid body, body is, are also present in this area, but they are basically uh, detecting the oxygen levels. And carotid sinus basically uh, contains the baroreceptors and they are uh, detecting the stretch of the blood vessels. When the, the blood vessels are stretching more because of the increased arterial pressure, then more uh, reflexes go toward the brain and the brain sends the signal according to the input. When the blood pressure or the arterial pressure is low, then less uh, impulses go through uh, from these receptors towards the brain and then the brain sends signals according to that impulses. So basically these baroreceptors are the input devices for the human brain and the brain basically detects the pressure in the blood vessels with the help of these baroreceptors 
and these re receptors respond very well to stretch and stretch more stretch basically occurs due to increased arterial pressure so they are present at the carotid sinus and in the arch of the aorta or the aortic arch but they are uh, present in almost every artery in the thorax the, the the signals the signals from these baroreceptors the signals from these baroreceptors are carried toward the brain with the help of vagus nerve and herring's nerve signals from the aortic arch are carried with the help of vagus nerve and signals from the carotid sinus the baroreceptors in the at the bifurcation of the carotid arteries are carried with the help of herring's nerve and from the herring's nerve the signals go to the brain with the help of glossopharyngeal nerve so baroreceptors are basically stretch receptors or pressoreceptors because they detect pressure and they are present in large arteries are specifically present in the arteries of the thorax but they are present in large number in at the bifurcation of the carotid arteries and in the arch of the aorta they detect stretch in the blood vessels and when the arterial pressure increase or decrease they basically send signals to the brain and the brain sends accordingly the send signals accordingly now how they function uh, that is something which we are going to discuss in uh, coming lectures but today in this lecture we are just going to discuss the anatomy that how they are present uh, how they function and what nerves are basically involved so signals from the baroreceptors in the uh, arch of the aorta are carried with the help of vagus nerve to the brain and signals from the carotid sinus the baroreceptors at the in the, at the bifurcation of the carotid arteries are carried with the help of herring nerves and then the herring nerves uh, transfer the signals to the glossopharyngeal nerve and the glossopharyngeal nerve then carry the signal to the brain in the brain the signals go to the uh, medulla and the the area in which the uh, and the specific area in the medulla which receive the signal is known as the tractus solitarius so basically these signals are carried collected from all the blood vessels and are taken to the uh, brain at, uh, to the area known as tractus solitarius which is basically present in the medulla then once the signals have been carried to the tractus solitarius it then analyzes what kind of signals are coming from the blood vessels and then it decides whether the arterial pressure needs to be decreased or it needs to be increased so baroreceptors once again they are basically arterial pressure control system and uh, they are also known as pressoreceptors and they are also known as stretch receptors and they are present in almost all the arteries of the th thorax but they are specifically common in the arch of the aorta and at the bifurcation of the carotid arteries and in the carotid at the bifurcation of the carotid arteries they are congested in the carotid sinus signals from the arch of the uh, signals from the baroreceptors in the arch of the aorta are carried with the help of vagus nerve signals from the carotid sinus are carried with the help of herring nerve and then through the glossopharyngeal nerve to the tractus solitarius in the medulla then how the uh, medulla how the uh, brain responds to the signal uh, these signals and impulses and how the, uh, the this area take action to control the arterial pressure with the help of these baroreceptors will be discussed in the next lecture thanks a lot for watching the video